What's up guys, my name is Ace, and with the Season 1 Reloaded update, we see a brand new muzzle attachment in Modern Warfare 3 that can be used on most of the guns in the game, and this is simultaneously the best and the worst muzzle in the entire game, in my opinion. And this is called the Jack BFB. And today we're going to be doing a deep dive to show you guys exactly how this works and whether or not you may want to give it a shot, at least on some builds. So when we look at the description for this, it says, Go loud. This compensator borders on excessive, but offers a phenomenal reduction to recoil, but significantly increased muzzle report, giving up your position and facing on enemy radar. And when we get into the advanced stats, you can see a ridiculous improvement to our gun kick. This is a 60% improvement, which nothing even comes close to that in this game. And then we've got a very good improvement to our horizontal recoil at 20%. And then once again, an insane improvement to our vertical recoil that nothing else comes close to at 40%. And the downsides in the advanced stats of this are a noticeable reduction to our ADS movement speed, as well as a noticeable but not too crazy reduction to our aim down sight speed and sprint out speed. And let's first dive into how much this actually helps your recoil in game. What does this actually look like? And I decided to test a handful of guns from different categories. This is what it looks like with just the base recoil with no attachments. And now this is what our recoil looks like when we're using the Jack BFB muzzle. And you can see there is way less recoil here. And also the visual recoil is reduced quite a bit because of that gun kick being reduced a lot. And when we look at it side by side, you can see a really good improvement to our recoil control. Normally you'd only see this kind of improvement if you put like all five attachments into recoil control. But this is just one single attachment doing this. But that's on the MCW, which is already a pretty accurate gun. Now let's go to a different extreme and look at one of the least accurate guns in the game. This is the Sidewinder. And again, this is without attachments. It's bouncing around like crazy. Even post-patch, this is improved recoil compared to pre-patch. But it's still pretty crazy and hard to control. And now this is what it looks like with that Jack BFB muzzle. Once again, that gun kick is cut down very noticeably. And obviously, the magnitude of recoil is also significantly cut down. And when you look at it side by side, we can once again see a massive improvement with that Jack BFB muzzle. Next, let's get into the SMG category and let's look at the brand new SMG, the HRM9. And without any attachments, this gun has a lot of visual recoil and a fair amount of actual recoil as well. But the moment we put this Jack BFB muzzle on, it significantly cuts down on that visual recoil while also massively improving the magnitude of the recoil. So I think you guys get the picture, but here's just a couple other tests that I did. I won't show you me shooting the gun. I'll just show you guys the side by sides here with the Ram 7 as well as the Rival 9 for those that might be interested. And clearly, this muzzle is insane when it comes to improving recoil. I don't know if I've ever seen a single attachment do this much for a gun in the franchise's history. Outside of like a conversion kit, of course. And so this is why, on one hand, this is the best muzzle in the game. However, there's of course a big catch to this one, outside of what's just stated in the advanced stats, because those trade-offs are not that bad when you consider how great this is for recoil. The primary downside with this is what happens with the enemy's minimap when you fire your gun while using this muzzle. And the first thing you'll notice is when you fire your gun, instead of showing up as just a red diamond on the enemy's minimap, now you show up as a directional arrow just like you would with an advanced UAV. Although unlike the advanced UAV, this doesn't follow you around, it only shows up in the location that you fired your gun from. So if you shoot your gun and then move, the dot stays in the same position just like it would with the diamond. So not only does it show the direction that you're looking now, whereas the diamond doesn't, it's also a lot larger on the minimap and a lot more eye-catching for those that maybe aren't the greatest with their minimap awareness and they might miss the odd dot here or there. It's a lot less likely they're going to miss this giant arrow appearing on their minimap. On top of that though, there is another downside compared to just firing a regular unsuppressed gun where you just show as a diamond, and that is the duration that that dot will remain on the minimap. With that normal diamond that appears for an unsuppressed weapon, it will be fully solid on the minimap for about two seconds, and then it starts to fade away, and then it's completely gone from the minimap at around the three second mark. Whereas when you're using the Jack BFB muzzle, that directional arrow will last for three seconds, fully solid, and then it starts fading away until it's completely gone at around the four and a half second mark. So it's going to stay on that minimap much longer, and therefore it also gives players a lot more time to see that before it fades away. I should also mention that with both the regular diamond as well as a directional arrow, the moment you fire another shot, it will immediately cancel out the previous dot that was showing. So that dot will disappear and the new dot will pop up. But that's just standard behavior for the dot that appears when you fire your gun. So we can clearly see here, there's a massive trade-off for that insane recoil reduction. And that is, you're going to be a lot easier to spot on that minimap. And this definitely has the potential to result in worse performance. 
In saying that though, there's actually one benefit with the minimap I wanted to point out here to showing up as a directional arrow rather than a diamond. And that's the fact that with directional arrows, the enemies don't get any elevation indicator. So with a standard diamond, if they're above you in elevation, there will be a little arrow above the dot that lets them know that they're above you. Whereas if they're below you, you'll get a little arrow beneath that diamond. And if they're on roughly the same elevation, there won't be any arrow at all. So that's an extra bit of information that players can gain from that. And that information isn't present with these directional arrows. It's the same reason that in some cases with an advanced UAV, it's a downside, especially on maps that have a lot of elevation and various levels. I'm thinking like Favela, for instance. If you're in the mid-map area and the enemy shows up as a directional arrow, you don't know which level they're on. Whereas with the standard diamond that pops up, that can actually give you the information that you really need to know. Are they on the same level as you? Are they above you? Are they below you? When using this Jack BFB muzzle, it may actually confuse enemy players a little bit. Now, of course, this is a pretty situational benefit, and I'd say overall, you're still better off only showing as a diamond rather than a directional arrow. But it is just one little thing I wanted to point out. And there we go. That is going to wrap it up for the breakdown of exactly how this Jack BFB muzzle works. Overall, are the massive upsides to this worth the pretty big downsides to this? Well, in my opinion, I would say for the most part, no, it's not worth it. Most of the guns in this game, you can get very accurate just using standard attachments. You don't need this muzzle in order to have a very accurate gun on your hands. And showing up as a giant arrow on the enemy's minimap for an extended duration has the potential to really significantly harm your performance in that match. Now, of course, this does depend on the types of players you're playing against. I mean, in some lobbies, players seem to be completely blind to the minimap anyway, so maybe you won't even notice much of a downside. Whereas other lobbies, they're going to be watching that like a hawk, and this is going to make it even easier for them to pinpoint where you are and which lane you're currently covering. So for me, I honestly don't think I'm going to be using this muzzle all that often. However, there may be some exceptions, like with really inaccurate guns like the Sidewinder, for instance. Even though it did get a recoil buff with the most recent update, it still bounces around like crazy, and it is very difficult to control that recoil. And therefore, I'd say that's an exception. If I still needed to grind the Sidewinder for camos or for whatever purpose, I probably would be using this muzzle on that. Because in that case, the downsides would be worth the upside of having actually controllable recoil. Outside of the really inaccurate guns, though, I don't see myself ever using this and I'll most likely be sticking to either standard muzzle attachments that can still help very noticeably with recoil, although not nearly as much, or honestly, even just a suppressor so I can stay off the enemy's minimap entirely. Now, of course, these are just my thoughts and opinions on the Jack BFB muzzle based on my breakdown of this, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about this muzzle in those comments down below. Now that you've seen how it works, do you see yourself ever using this muzzle, or are you gonna be staying far away from it so you're not showing up as that directional arrow? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.